So now we're going to learn the first four bars of Solly, hands together. Let's start off by figuring out the finger numbers. All right. So for the left hand, we'll start off with one five here. I think it's in blue. And this is going to be on a B flat octave. So I'll also write in the cautionary octaves, or the cautionary accidentals. Now the nice thing is that the top note stays on a B flat, the tenor voice stays on a B flat for the entire first measure and into the first two beats of the second measure. So your thumb is just going to stay on that note. So just keep one all the way through there. With the bottom note, we'll go to fourth finger on the D natural, third finger on the E flat, and back to fifth finger when it returns to B flat. Let's try that part together. So it starts off, your thumb's just going to repeat the B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, that's easy. That means you can divert your attention to the bottom note, the bass note. We'll have B flat, D. B flat, B flat, five, four, three, five. Just try the bass line like that. B flat, D, B flat, B flat. And then we just add the top note in. So B flat, D flat, B flat, B flat. Okay, so that's how the left hand starts. Continuing forward. We also have, uh, let's see, a cautionary accidental here, another B flat. So that will still be fifth finger, and then we're going to use second finger on the F, on the third beat of the second bar. Okay. All right, continuing forward, there's a few options that we can do here. Now, if we look at the right hand, the right hand alto voice is playing middle C at this point, the downbeat of the third measure. Well, it just so happens that the tenor voice on the second beat is also middle C. And in fact, if you look at these two notes, they're the same. You have a C and a C and an E flat and an E flat. Because of this, uh, it makes a bit a lot of sense to take this C with the right hand. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this C with the right hand. So we're going to omit that C for now, which means there's really no reason for you to shift the left hand up. Second finger was already on F, so we'll just keep second finger on F and now play A natural with your thumb. Then you're going to rest here and then do the same thing here. And then we're back to our good old B flat octave. So that's going to be pretty easy. So let's actually try playing this through all the way through with the left hand. So you start with a B flat octave. There we go. B flat, D, B flat, B flat. Now go to second finger on F. And then the second finger stays on F and just go to your thumb on A natural. One, two, three, back to B flat octave. And that's the left hand. Let's do it in time now. One, two, play. One, two, three. One, two, two, F. Three, one, two, three, one, two. One more time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And that's the left hand. <clears throat> so now if we take a look at the right hand. We're going to start off with 5-1 on the beginning of the right hand, 5-1. And we do have a B flat here. Then you're just going to go to 2-4 on F-A. And then 
to 1, 3 on E flat G. Let's try the first measure of the right hand together. So, start with your thumb on middle D and your fifth finger on B flat. We'll have D B flat, then to F A, and down to E flat G, like that. So, 1, 5, 2, 4, 1, 3. Try that a couple times. One, two, three, one, two, three. <clears throat> In the next bar, <clears throat> we have another E flat, but this time we're going to go ahead and shift down because we'll need to go a little bit lower. So we're going to go to 2, 3 on E flat and F, like that, which will set us up to use our thumb on the D natural. So now let's try the first two measures of the right hand, starting from thumb on D, fifth finger on B flat, and 1, 2, 3, then shift down to second finger on E flat, third finger on F. that. And again, one, two, three, shift down, one, two, three. And one more time, one, two, three, shift down, one, two, three. Now, at this point, we're on to the third bar. If you look at the third bar, there's an E flat all the way through that bar. That E flat is always going to be second finger. Okay, so that's always going to be second finger. And we're going to use, we're going to play the C here, okay? So the finger numbers are going to be 1, 2, <clears throat> then 1, 2, 5, and then 2, 4. And then we'll end on one, three. <clears throat> so let's play these two measures with the right hand. You're going to start with your thumb on middle C, second finger on E flat. Like that. On the second beat, you're still going to play the C natural with your thumb and the E flat with your second finger. So on the second beat, you're just adding the A with fifth finger. So one, two, like that. And then go to two, four, E flat, G. And then down to D, F with one, three. Let's try that together. Two, three. One, two, three. And then to D, F. One, two, three. And again, one. Two, three, and one more time. And one, two, three, one, two, three. And now let's do the entire right hand. One, ready, and play. One, two, three, shift down. One, two, And again, two, here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Once that is comfortable, now we can go ahead and play this hands together. We'll start from the last two chords. Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's actually do this entire third measure. Okay? It's pretty easy. 
So left hand only plays F and A, okay, with two and one, and you only play the downbeat and the third beat. So it's going to be one, two, three, and then you'll go to your B flat octave. The right hand plays C and E flat. Okay, so that's your first chord, F, A, C, E flat. Notice how both fingers are using the same fingers, two, one, one, two. So pretty easy. On the second beat, the left hand does not play, so it's going to be one. The left hand rests, the right hand adds A to the chord. And then on the third beat, the left hand plays F, A again, but the right hand plays E flat and G with two, four, like that. Let's do that slowly. And one. Now the, just the right hand with the A. Two. Left hand plays again, but the right hand plays E flat G with two four. Like that. And again. Two three. One. And two. And three. And. And one more time. Two. Three, one, and two, and three. Now we go to the B flat octave in the left hand and D F in the right hand. One, two, three, like that. Let's do this again. Two, three, one, and two, and. Three and one, two, three. Okay. Now let's go back to the first measure. So with the first measure, remember the left hand, and we'll go to the uh, we'll go to the downbeat for the second time. Left hand's pretty easy because the thumb just repeats B flat. So the bottom note goes from B flat, D, E flat, and B flat. So the left hand is five, four, three, five. The right hand starts on D B flat, goes down to F A, E flat G. Then you shift down to 2 3 on E flat F. Like that. Okay. Let's try this. The left hand starts on B flat octave. Right hand thumb on D, fifth finger on B flat. Okay. That's the downbeat, block chord. On the next chord, left hand goes fourth finger to D. And the right hand plays F and A with 2 4. Let's try that again. Downbeat, E flat octave, left hand. D, B flat in the right hand, block chord, to the second chord, D, B flat in the left hand, F, A in the right hand, which is a B flat major 7 chord, sounds kind of cool, let's do that again, down beat, second beat, and again, down beat, second beat. Time down beat second beat and now we go to the third beat left hand goes to third finger on E flat right hand plays one on E flat three on G one thing that makes this kind of easy too is the fingers are really similar between the hands notice in the first chord both hands are using one and five on the second chord both hands are using fourth finger although the left, right hand is using second finger in the F. And on the third chord, we're back to three and one in both hands. So there's symmetry in the finger numbers, even when there is not symmetry in the notes. Let's try this again. One and two and three. Okay, so that third chord, E flat G. At this point, the left hand goes back to the B flat octave. The right hand shifts down, second finger E flat, third finger on F, which is a suspension, a 4 3 suspension. Okay? Let's put that much together from the downbeat. Here we go. Two, three. 
three. One. Now F A in the left hand, a right hand. E flat G. Right hand shifts down. Second finger E flat. Third finger F. And if you want, you can continue. Resolve to D. And then the left hand plays on the third beat with an F. Like that. So now let's try the first two bars together. One and two and three and one and two and three. Now the right hand shifts down to three. One and two and three and and again. And now we're going to go ahead and combine that entire section together. Here we go, let's take it slow. Left hand B flat octave, right hand D, B flat. Three and one. Now two and three. Right hand shifts down to three. Suspension resolve to D. Left hand joins with an F. Now the left hand goes to F A, and the right hand has C E flat and one. Now just the right hand plays with the A, and then the left hand rejoins. Right hand has E flat G. Left hand returns to the B flat octave. Right hand plays D F with one three. Okay, let's do that again. This time in time three. And one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and And that is the first four bars of solid. So now that you've learned that, you want to reinforce each of the sections and then merge the sections together, first in pairs and then the entire hymn. You'll want to use metronome, work on being steady, and if you ever struggle, go back to the original video for that section and reinforce. I hope this is helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.